When will AST Space Mobile share price reach $200? And how many satellites will it have in orbit by 2030? In this video, we share our five-year predictions for AST. Starting in 2025, we believe this will be a crucial year for the build-out of the Space Mobile network. We expect 17 Bluebirds to be launched this year, meaning a total of 22 will be in orbit by the end of Q4. If you're interested in finding out more about these launches, take a look at our recent video where we explore what we think AST's satellite launch roadmap will look like. Looking at the company, in 2025 we think AST will finally get full regulatory approval from the FCC to operate in the US. Given many other countries are mirroring the standards set by the FCC, this will enable AST to operate service continuously across a whole heap of countries. As such, AST will announce its plans to start operating in the US, Europe and Japan in the first half of 2026. Moving on to the stock, we think the build-out of the network will help give investors confidence and the stock price will trade between $20 and $50 per share. We expect to see a reduction in AST's use of the at-the-market facility, as the company will have enough cash on hand to reduce its selling of new shares. Let's move on to 2026, where we forecast AST will have four new Glenn launches, meaning a further 32 Bluebirds will be sent to space. That takes the total in orbit to 54, enough for AST to offer a good level of service to a lot of countries. We think AST will extend the regions where it operates in the second half of 2026, with additions including areas such as Turkey, South Korea, Uzbekistan and Northern Africa. In terms of the company, we expect to see even more partnerships announced in 2026, taking AST's total to over 60 partnerships, as mobile network operators start to realise they need a space-based partner to avoid being left behind the competition. Meanwhile, AST will hit a new milestone of 100 million subscribers worldwide. In 2026, we think the stock will trade between $40 and $100, so long as the company continues to perform well. We believe 2026 will be the last year of any form of stock dilution for AST. Moving into 2027, we think AST will have reached its production capacity goal of building 6 satellites per month. That means it'll have 72 Bluebirds ready to launch in 2027, taking the total in orbit to 126, a huge boost for service levels worldwide. 2027 could be a landmark year for the company as we believe this is when it will break even and turn cash flow positive. In a poll we ran on our X account, most people who voted believed this would happen during either 2026 or 2027. Here at Connected Space, we feel it'll be during the second half of 2027 that revenues finally overtake the colossal cost of building out the Space Mobile Network. With the network almost complete, we could see AST reach half a billion subscribers. A huge milestone for the company. In terms of the stock, turning a profit will be great news for investors. In 2027, we anticipate ASTS will cement itself as a $100 plus stock trading between $80 and $150 for most of the year. We think 2028 will be the last year of AST rolling out its network en masse. Launching a further 72 Bluebirds will see AST's network reach 198 satellites in orbit. The company needs just 150 to 200 to provide excellent coverage worldwide, so 2028 will likely be when AST completes its global rollout plan. By 2028, there will likely be stronger competition from other players in the market. While we think AST will have a large lead on the competition, it'll be starting to explore future technological advances it can exploit to ensure it remains the number one choice for space-based direct-to-device broadband services. In 2028, we anticipate the growth story of ASTS stock will continue, with the stock trading between $120 and $200 per share. We know AST recognises and appreciates their retail investors, so if it trades at this level, we may see AST propose a stock split to lower the price to a more affordable level for everyday folks to be able to buy a share of the company. So here we are in 2029, five years in the future. 
the Space Mobile Network is now complete and AST is looking to the future. While AST is unlikely to be producing 72 Bluebirds a year, we think it'll still be making and launching 10 to 20 to take advantage of advances in technology and to prepare to replace older Bluebirds in the fleet, such as the Block 1 Bluebirds, which will be coming to the end of their expected life. In 2029, we think AST will hit a new global milestone of over 3 billion active subscribers. Yeah, that's billions with a B. It'll have established itself as an industry leader and will hold a significant share of the direct-to-device market. So what about the stock price in 2029? Well, you might call us optimistic, but we believe we will see lows of $180 per share and highs of up to $300 per share. Thanks to its phenomenally strong cash flow position, AST could be in a position to issue its first dividend payment to shareholders. We think the next five years will be very exciting for AST Space Mobile. But what do you think of our predictions? Leave us a comment to let us know. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Connected Space.